Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Marlene and in today's video we are talking about body measurements so we never again order the wrong size when we're shopping online. Shopping online can be extremely frustrating for one reason and one reason only. It is so difficult to find the right fit. One way to ensure that we never order the wrong size again is to arm ourselves with a measuring tape and work with the size charges and our body measurements. Most companies actually have a size chart on their website. So if you already have your body measurements, it'll be easy for you when you go shopping, whichever website it may be on, to compare your measurements with the size charges on the website. So I have a few tips and tricks first before we start taking our measurements. First of all, we need to arm ourselves with a nice soft measuring tape. This is definitely one of the easiest one to use for taking your own measurements. Now, obviously, if you have someone who can give you a hand, that can also be easier. But sure, if like me, you're on your own as I am today, then we'll have to manage on our own. Another thing is that when we're taking our measurements, do be aware of your posture at all time. You need to stand up straight in order for the clothes to fit you properly. Because if you're slouched down and you think this is the length of a t-shirt, but then when you stand up straight, it's going to hike up over your belly. So do make sure and be aware of your posture at all times when you're taking these measurements. Now, for most of these measurements, you need to make sure that your measuring tape is parallel to the floor. Very important. We'll talk about that more in a minute, but do keep that in mind. Also, make sure you take every measurement at least twice just to be sure that we have the right one and to make sure that you're standing correctly. And if the two measurements that you're taking are not even do it again, just to be on the safe side. And last but not least, do make sure to write down all your measurements. But listen, let's get stuck into the measurements. Now the first measurement we are going to do today is the bust. And the bust is measured where you are the fullest. Take the zero end and swing that around you. And it doesn't matter if your measuring tape is in inches or in centimeters, do whatever you prefer. I'm using centimeters because that's what I use. We put the measuring tape on where we are the fullest. I am holding my thumb on the zero and then I'm using the front fingers here to hold on to the other side and then when I have the rest of the measuring tape coming I just clamp that in there but the, my thumb is staying in the exact same spot on the back it's very important I then put the measuring tape and this is what I meant about it needing to be parallel with the floor because when I turn around this measuring tape has to sit parallel to the floor so when I turn, can you see that sit reasonably in the same spot the whole way around? Now, your measuring tape needs to be so tight that it stays put, but it should not be so tight that you're altering your shape or pushing anything in or out. It should just sit nice and loosely and you should be able to get your hand underneath the measuring tape without altering your shape at all. And there you have your measurement. So just check where your front finger is and mine is, if I let go of the back, mine is on 132. Now, as I said, always do this twice, but shake your body out first. Don't just kind of check it and then just let it go and check it again. No, take the measuring tape off and do the process again. There we go, that looks good there. And I get 132. So that is my measurements that I normally use, so that is absolutely perfect. Next up, we are going to do our waist. And our waist is where we are naturally the narrowest on your torso. So you can see I dip in slightly. I don't have much of a waist, but nevertheless, that's where the measurement is taken. Once again, the zero goes around us. We lie nice and smooth, put the measuring tape around, hold the thumb on the back of the zero, and then we just adjust. There we go. Once again, checking that our measuring tape is parallel to the floor. That looks decent there. And then we'll place our fingers in the right spot. Let go of the back. And we have a measurement here for me that says 123 centimeters. Shake it out. Let's try it again. Around. Are we parallel? That looks good there. Make sure we have enough space. And 123 perfect next up is the hips and the hips is where you are the widest down by your bottom so once again the method is the same and stays the same we'll go around put the measuring tape around make sure it's in the right spot where we are the widest make sure that we have it parallel and that looks good there spinning the whole way around fingers in the right place let go of the back and i got 139 centimeters Shake it out and do it again. That looks good there. And 139. Perfect. 
Now the next measurement is our thighs and our thighs is actually easy to do if you have someone to help you. But what I do when I'm on my own and want to take this measurement in order to get the measurement as accurate as possible. The leg I want to measure, I put all my weight over on that side, meaning this leg is just kind of hanging out here just so I can move it out of the way. But all my weight stays here. So that's how my posture is going to be when I stand up straight before I read the measurement. The method is the same. Reach down, get your measuring tape around, put the measuring tape where you are the widest. Now I'm not going to turn. I'm just using my mirror here to check. And then I put the measuring tape parallel to the ground. Again, it looks to be straight. And then using my fingers again, a thumb on the back of the zero, um, index finger on the front, let go of the back. And I have a measuring just between, just after 70 centimeters. So now do this again. So shake it all out. Check that you're parallel in your mirror and check. And I get it just after 70 centimeters again. So obviously you do the exact same with the other leg as well. Now, in order to take your shoulder measurement, which is one that is often mentioned, especially on Sheen, where I shop a lot, I need my shoulder measurement. This one can be a little bit tricky and it can be very difficult to get completely accurate. So I kind of have a range of centimeters that I tend to use. Grab zero, pull it behind you, have it lying in your neck, put it on your neck and then move it down to the shoulders. It'll naturally follow the curve of your body. It will naturally sit where it needs to be. Then you have to put the measuring tape where you want it. Now, and this is where it's not completely accurate on this one. Let me come a bit closer because I can move this out here and out here, and that will be a shoulder measurement. That's fine for me, but I could also move it here and here, and that could be two to three centimeters different. Pop it on zero here and then just make sure that it's even on the other side. Now this measurement I got here said 52. I know from experience I can use anything from 47 centimeters up to about 50, 51. If I get more than a 51, then it's gonna, the shoulders are gonna sit out too wide and it's gonna start looking as if I got dropped shoulders and that's gonna make me look wider. So let me do that one again. Measuring tape behind my back, let it lie on the neck and then I just roll it onto the shoulders. So. Let's try and catch the seams of this t-shirt and relax and there. This t-shirt here measures 49 centimeters and that's me using the two seams that's on this t-shirt. So as I say, this is a measurement that you need to do several times. This is a little bit of a trial and area, but a good way to judge this could actually do like I have just done. Try the measurement of the top that you actually have on. Just put the measuring tape from seam to seam and see how that is. Now this sits perfectly on my shoulder, this t-shirt here. So I know that this is a perfect measurement for me. I hope that helps a little bit, but as I say, this one is not a complete accurate science on this one, but it's a good way to have a good indicator of what size you need. Now the next measurement to take is definitely a lot easier if you have someone to give you a hand, but we can manage on our own. This time we need the sleeve length for our garments. Put your zero on your shoulder and I'm using roughly the same measurement where the seam is on my t-shirt. Now we need to have a bended arm, but we grab the measuring tape and then we'll keep the measuring tape on our elbow and then we grab it out here on the other end. Now you have to remember though that you can't grab it down by your wrist. So you are already adding a couple of extra centimeters up here, but I'm placing my little finger and that's what I'm holding on with, letting go and I get 69 centimeters. So let's try that again. On my shoulder, grab your measuring tape, bend your arm, and then just kind of walk it the best you can. Hold on with your little finger, let go, and this time I got 70 centimeters. Now I just measured one of my own jackets that fits me absolutely perfect before I did this. And it has a centimeter measurement of 69 centimeters. So I know that that is roughly where I am for the sleeves. Now we are missing one more measurement and that is the inseam of our trousers or the length of our trousers. Now, unfortunately I haven't quite found a solid way of doing this by myself, but I did see another YouTuber. She did it with a measuring tape like this. One of these hard sturdy ones I stole from my husband's toolbox this morning um, to measure this. Now, I don't really use that measurement. I don't actually have a measurement to compare it to that somebody else has done with me. But as I said, if you can get someone to give you a hand, that would definitely be the best. Now, what this other YouTuber did that I saw online, she took this hard measuring tape and she let it on the floor, popped it between her heels, 
and then she measured up to the crotch area to get the inseam or up to her waist to get the length. Now this is where the problem with this method comes into me because I now have to bend down and as soon as I move, the measuring tape is going to move because it's not locked down the bottom. But I'm thinking if we hold it tight and kind of let the top go, then maybe we'll be able to get the length of it. It says this one is actually in inches. It's just below 38 inches. And just about 97 centimeters, which is probably about accurate. So that's from my waist down to my ankles because this is standing on the floor. So this would kind of, you know, that would cover the foot, if that makes sense. I'm not sure how accurate this measurement is or how useful it is to do on your own. I would say definitely get someone to give you a hand. But anyway, it's a method that you could give it a try if you wanted. Now that you have your body measurement, you are essentially ready to go shopping. But hold up, because I have a few more tips to make sure you get the right fit. First of all, don't forget that the measurements we have just taken are tight fitting for your body. That's grand if it's a tight fitting t-shirt like this with plenty of stretch in it. But if you have, let's say, a loose summer dress that has no stretch in the fabric whatsoever, you want to make sure that that dress is big enough for you to get in and out with ease, but also that you have proper range of movement in it. It's no good that you can fit into it, but you can't move in it. Now, one thing that you possibly could do, it may not be possible for all, but what you could do is that you could buy two of the same dress. Buy the one that fits your measurements and then buy the size up. But I will say, once you get to know a company, you will know what their sizing is like. And you'll very, very soon learn whether or not you would need to size up with that company or if you'd stick to the measurements. Now, another thing I will say, before you buy anything at all, make sure to check the return policy. Because shopping online, you can really get caught out with companies if they don't have a great return policy. But that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope most importantly that it was helpful for you. I've had a lot of people asking me how to measure your body, especially for shopping on Sheen. And I do have an entire video on how to shop on Sheen, which you can pair with this one. And I will link it in the description box for you as well if you need to go and watch that. But listen, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.